I don't know much internet, but I do know this. Carl Nassib may be gay, but the only NFL player that was getting fucked by multiple dudes that night was Alejandro Villanueva. I can make that joke, right? Don't sue me. Hello everybody, welcome to the week two of the 2021-2022 NFL season and my prediction picks. I'm your host, the Blank Indian Cat, known as Cody, known as your favorite cat from the neighborhood. I rep the Pacific Northwest, that's what I do. I, although ironically, I refuse to root for Seattle in any way, shape, or form, but the neon green jerseys I love. I love the neon greens. I wish I'd wear them more often. And this is my clean shaven face because I'm back working at the Mickey Suck My D's and they don't like beards. Your beard's weird. And then you welcome to the prediction videos where um you should never listen to me in the history of forever because for whatever reason I don't know how to do good picks. As you can see by the numbers we're gonna present on my left here that wow things did not turn out the way I wanted them to. But hey, my random bullshit Twitter totals seem to have worked out in my favor. Which go me. Because I think I took, like, ten of those games to go under, so I'll take eleven and five. And at this point, I'm kind of wondering if it's a meme, if I should just do a different drink in this cup every day. This is Bark's Root Beer, by the way. Clearly <laughs> inferior to A&W, in my opinion. But, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can go for the meme of a different drink. It'll challenge me to make a different uh, drink choices, so hey, let's go. Um, but yeah, uh, straight up, even Stevens. Some games I should be surprised by, some games I sh shouldn't. Baltimore broke my heart, but that's just what I get for being a Ravens fan. And then a couple other teams I just want to stick a middle middle finger to you. Just because of your, your choices, your play, your coaching, all the above. You irritate me. And, so that is that. Um, with it being a 17 game season now as opposed to regular 16, I don't know how the final product is going to look. My usual goal of going for under 100 losses might be an interesting one straight up, because now there's that extra week. Although, through the last four years, I've been able to keep it under 100, so if I can stay. Like last year, we went 164, 91, and 1. To another 8 and 8 season on that, that's still under 100. So we're going to shoot for that. We should give it a shot. Uh, I guess, <laughs> never, never take my spreads, literally. <laughs> Only when nine betting underdogs win outright, and me, who only bet two of those underdogs, one of them in Miami, which I got right. I want my props. I called out Miami as my underdog, or my upset of the week in the Prize League, and no one believed me. Take that. But anywho, um, enough with that, and as far as the four pools I'm in, uh, what was it, Bridgewater's Finance and Half Moon's Picks, I'm both in the bottom half, so... That's going swimmingly. And as far as the Pickums, Chris's Pickums, um, most people kind of went average as well. One guy got away with 11 and 5, but everyone else was 9 and 7 or worse. So me being 8 and 8, I have a chance to kill the catch up. The season's young. And my less than 10% smile on the camera, God, I'm surprised that thing still works. This thing is pretty much older than half my followers. No, I'm kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. Anywho, let us get to D picks. Also, in my survival pool, I lost because fuck you, Minnesota. Fuck you, Minnesota. I'm picking Arizona this week just because fuck you. Anyway, on to the picks. Starting right here with Washington hosting New York on a Thursday night. The Giants, I wanted to believe, were going to be a sneaky team to win that division. Because Washington, I didn't expect, I don't think anyone's going to repeat. That division never repeat. And Dallas, I just didn't have the faith in. But after what I saw from the Giants against Denver, who, I respect Teddy Bridgewater. Always have, always will. We share the same birthday. Yada, yada. Respect for that guy. Went to the same college Lamar went to, so, you know. A lot of respect for the guy. Appreciate him. Yada, yada. But, I did not expect Denver to do that one. That last second touchdown shouldn't count. They got blown like 27-7. to 7. No. But, with that being said, yeah, I'm still going to take Washington. Because I like Taylor Heineken. I like calling him Heineken, Heineke, Heineken, because I can never remember how to spell the name. Although three and a half seems risky, and the Giants did sleep Washington last year. But, whatever, I'm going to take it, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 
no matter my luck, it's going to end 23-20. That, that hook's going to kill me. That hook is going to kill me. Uh, Buffalo, I was not impressed at all, but, you know, maybe you're still good, and maybe week one, they're just flukes, so I'll give you week two. Chicago, they keep starting Dalton. I have no fit in that team. None. So, Cincy, good job being Minnesota. I think Minnesota shot themselves more often than you actually took advantage of. So, but I'll give you the win over Chicago. I, I don't want to bet on Chicago. Like I said, I like Teddy, but minus six against Jack. I, I can't expect Trevor Lawrence to throw another three picks. I, I don't think he will. I ought to think he'd be better than that, especially against Houston. Denver might have the better defense, so this game might be a little scoring in general. I don't know what the total is at, but if it's at 45, hammer that under while you can. So that works, it'll be 23-20. But, I'm, I, I, I can't buy Jackson performing that bad again. So, I'll, I'll take the plus six, bite my nose, whatever. Same thing with Houston. Houston, Tyra Taylor. David Johnson. Oh, I said this on Twitter. Uh, Grand Heights is making a joke about, oh, Houston, blah, blah, blah. And the four players I saw are all four players I have root for separately on their own occasions. David Johnson, as you all know, he's one of my favorite players in the NFL. Mark Ingram, well, the Ravens back, but even with the Saints, him and the Camaros bond. Mark Ingram gets a great personality. Tyrod, I rooted for him. He's a former Ravens backup. Did well in Buffalo. Did well elsewhere. I like him. I like to root for him. That's what it was. And then Brandon Cooks, Oregon State guy. Of course, I'm going to root for my fellow Corvallisians. Corvallis, Eugene, I guess, whatever. I really need to pick a college team. I'm, I'm back and forth. I, I, I stopped watching college mostly as a whole. But Oregon beating Ohio State last week, that made my day. That made my week. I made everything. <laughs> it almost makes the Ravens' loss to the Raiders bearable. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <sighs> but yeah, as much as I like Cleveland, who at this point look better than Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Tennessee, Baltimore, look better than all of them, really. If they can, you know, if... If Casey's going to go down at this point, it probably is going to be to Cleveland. At this rate, if, if anyone's going to stop, at, at this, my money's there at this point. Maybe Pittsburgh. Maybe Pittsburgh will be that team that knocks them out of the playoffs, but doesn't go far after that. I don't know. We'll see how everything breaks down. We are at week one. Anything is possible. Maybe Houston wins the Super Bowl. Tyrod will do his thing. But no, I'm not giving Cleveland minus 12.5 to a Houston team who is better than people might give them credit for. I trust Tyrod, I trust Cooks, I trust DJ Ingram, Philip Lindsay is no scrub. I trust him. I'll trust him to cover that 12 and a half. Pity over Vegas. I thought about taking Vegas as an upset pick. Because they're going to do that to Baltimore. I can't imagine they do that to Pittsburgh. Maybe because Pittsburgh had no offense. They had no offense. But that defense is legit. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious to see what Crosby, Nassib, Unique, and Gakwe, and crew do to Pittsburgh's own line, because I can't imagine they're any better than Baltimore's. We'll see, though. But I'll take them to cover. I'm sure Pittsburgh wins this by 4, 24-20, 30, 27-24, something like that. I can believe that. Uh, New Orleans, I think, will blow Carolina. Uh, Tampa Bay, I would take minus 20 on Atlanta, honestly. Fuck the foul. The, the way I was at certain points with Philadelphia last year, I'm already that way with Atlanta. There is no reason this team should be that bad. I don't care. Philly's not a good team. Philly is not a good team. There is no reason you should be scoring six points. Matt Ryan, Kyle Pitts, Calvin Ridley, Russell Gage, Mike Davis. No, there is no reason you should be scoring six points against this team. Hell no. No. Atlanta has pissed me off beyond comprehension. Because there is no reason they should be as bad as they've been. Not only this weekend, but for the last couple of years. There is no reason you guys should be this bad. Mm, I'm, they, they're pissing me off. They, they piss me off. That's, that's all. No. Tampa, I hope you freaking blow them out by 40. I honestly wish I could see a 50-3 to game. I wish I could see that. God, maybe this needs to be alcohol. No. Atlanta's pissed me off. I hope you lose 
dramatically. Speaking of Philly, I'm gonna roll with Philly upsetting San Fran. Philly's at home. San Fran, like I've said, I've had no faith in. Yeah, you blew out the Lions, but the Lions almost came back. I, I, I don't think San Fran's a good team. I don't think they're a bad team, but I don't think they're a good team. And beating Detroit doesn't tell me anything. No. Arizona, like I said earlier, I'm going to pick them in my survival pool against Minnesota because fuck Minnesota as well. Shouldn't have lost to Cincinnati, but whatever. So yeah, I'll take Arizona. Four and a half, a bit much, I'll take it. Seattle, knowing Tennessee, fucking, they're going to lose Arizona the way they did, but somehow maybe cover and possibly even beat Seattle. But no, I'm going to roll with it. Seattle, five and a half. Casey over Baltimore. You can thank the title of this video to my homie Justin Bridgewater's finest. <laughs> because, God, if we're going to look like that against the Raiders, I am not. Pray for me, y'all. I'm not emotionally prepared to see what's going to happen on Sunday night. I'm not. I'm not. And then I'm going to give Detroit the benefit of the doubt of plus 11 against Green Bay. For the sake of... Do I think Green Bay's going to look that bad? No. I think that was a one-time thing. But at the same time, Detroit apparently likes to go down by 30 and then come back to cover 8. Had that line been a fucking 8 instead of 7.5? God damn it. <sighs> Whatever. But even last time when Green, Green, Bay, what, Green Bay played Detroit... It was a Monday night home game. They won on a game. Ah, uh, it might be a couple of years ago. I lost track of time. That being said, I think Detroit backdoor covers. I don't think they're really in this game at all. But I'm going to give them a backdoor cover. For the sake of it. For the sake of it. There you have it. Those are your boys' picks. Fantasy, we went 2-2. Two and two. We won in the LOA, and we won on Sleeper, but we lost in the Prog, and we lost in Discord. Holy balls to Jay, my fellow Oregonian friend, demolished me. I think I lost by, like, 70. So, yeah, it was, it was rough. And then, of course, and of course, in my money league, the league where I'm spending 60 bucks a year to be in, to hopefully win a lot, I lose by a point. I lose by a point. Because that's my life when it comes to betting. Oh so close, yet oh so far. Breaks my heart, internet. Breaks my heart. But we will rebound. I already forgot who my opponents were. Does it matter? Because we'll just see how it goes. I'll say this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win in the Discord League. <laughs> we'll get into that next week, though. For story reasons. Because in this series, there's always a story to be told. I didn't get my Super Bowl prediction either. I was going to be on the Green Bay-Baltimore line because Green Bay's last dance, Baltimore figured, put it together. But now because of the injuries and now because I think Green Bay is going to be a shell of itself, I have no idea who to play. I don't want to pick KC. KC is boring. And I don't want to pick Tampa. Tampa is boring. I don't think the Rams will make it. I don't know. We'll see how the season progresses. But with that, that'll be all for me today. Look at that. We're actually getting this done quick. People's attention spans. We're actually going to win. Unlike some people who go for an hour. <laughs> I'm your boy, the CRP. CP, the, the one, the only. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Can you catch CP? There you'll see my total picks. You'll see me talking sports. And you'll see me bullshitting with all my friends. Whether that's those from the products community or Discord. Or maybe once in a while I'll go bug Andrew because he never wants to talk to me anymore, Mr. Scarecrow. We shall see. Follow me on Instagram. I post like once a month, but hey, you'll get to see my smiling face not talking to you sometimes. If that means anything. I don't know. We shall see. Um, follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to stream more often. Uh, I have freaking Nathan and Travis from the other way giving me shit because I'm not posting more Apex videos. I'm sorry. Life was kind of a struggle lately, so I didn't get a chance to post anything. But it is what it is. Um, and then join all the discords. I got their links, I think. Did I say I got their links in the description? I did, I did. I got all their links in the description. Come talk with me. Come hang out with all me and my discordian friends. Hell, I even dragged Eddie 
and see Thea into them. So come join us. Come bullshit with the Buro and I. We'd have such a great time. Peace, love, and trust from your favorite cat. I will see you next week when I'll probably be really sad because the Ravens have fallen to O and T. Mm-hmm. <laughs>